Do you want to know how to look good in your clothes? Well, stick around because this video is going to walk you through it. Hey everybody, it's Kathy. Welcome back to Style with Kathy Over 50. And today we're talking about a topic that is near and dear to my heart. And that is how to always look good in your clothes, no matter your age or your body shape. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our community of fabulous women over 50 who are redefining style. So the first thing we have to do is you need to understand your body shape. Understanding your body shape is crucial. Whether you're an apple, a pear, a rectangle, or an hourglass, every shape has its beauty. Today I'm going to share tips tailored to each shape ensuring you highlight your best features. Remember, it's all about balance and proportion. So the first body shape we're gonna talk about is a pear shape. So you wanna emphasize the upper body with bright colors or boat necklines, and you wanna choose A-line skirts or dresses to flatter your lower body. If you're an apple shape like me, Opt for v-neck tops to elongate the look of your torso and choose wrap or impure waist dresses to create a waist and wear mid-rise or high-rise pants or shorts because you want to hold that belly in. If you have an hourglass shape, you want to highlight the natural curves with waist-defining dresses and fitted clothing that enhances the proportion between your bust and your hips. If you have a rectangle shape, create curves with belts at the waist, use ruffles or layers to add volume to the upper and lower body, and choose dresses that add definition to your waist. And if you are an inverted triangle shape, balance your broader shoulders with A-line skirts or dresses that add volume to the hips and choose tops with narrow V-necks. So the next important step is you wanna choose the right fabric. The fabric of your clothes can make a huge difference. Opt for materials that drape nicely and don't cling to areas you're self-conscious about. Fabrics like jersey silk and soft cotton blends are your friend. Let's avoid stiff fabrics that can add unnecessary bulk. One of the most important things before you get dressed is that you start with a good foundation. You are probably sick of hearing about this, but I cannot stress it enough. It is so, so important to get a bra fitting and make sure you're wearing the proper bra, the proper size, you know, the proper color. Don't wear a black bra if you're gonna wear like a see-through white top. I always opt for flesh tone bras. You know, I may walk on the wild side here and there and get like a red one or a black one. But the, my point is, it's really important to start with good bra and good underwear. You don't have to wear like shapewear, but I like these underwear from Spanx and they just smooth out any lumps or bumps. They are not constricting because I would not recommend them or wear them, but they do however I feel like smooth my lumps and bumps out so that my clothes look a little better. They are comfortable and they wash and wear well. So with your bra, get a bra fitting at least once a year. I know Nordstrom does them. I suggest going to a local bra boutique and I'm sure that they could fit you there. It's also important to adjust your straps every time you put that bra on, you wanna hoist the girls up. Because just doing that, you're gonna instantly create a, uh, a waistline and you're gonna look slimmer. And it's also important to not wear the same bra for two days in a row because the bra needs to you know, rest and I think get its shape back or whatever it does when it's resting. But starting with a good foundation is so, so important because if you're wearing a really crappy bra, it doesn't matter if you're wearing a thousand dollar dress, it's not gonna look as nice as if you were wearing the proper bra. Next thing that we need to discuss is the importance of tailoring. Never underestimate the power of tailoring your clothes. Clothes that fit you perfectly can transform your look. It's worth investing in getting your clothes altered to your body. A well-fitted outfit can instantly make you look polished and put together. 
As somebody that has to wear petite length pants, I have a 27 inch inseam. So lots of times, unless I buy pants that are specifically for petite, which is getting harder and harder to find at some stores, I have to get about three to six inches taken off my pants. So I personally cannot sew, but I do have a good tailor that can. And she charges $10 to hem a pair of jeans or pants. So if you can't sew, I recommend finding a good tailor. Um, you could probably inquire at a local dry cleaning store or just do a Google search wherever you live. And, you know, if you're going to invest money in pieces that are going to last you a long time, it's good if you can go the extra step and just like nip and tuck any spots where it can look like that piece was specifically created for you. The next important thing that we need to consider so that we always look great in our clothing are colors and patterns. Colors and patterns can play a fun part in our wardrobe, but choosing the right one is key. Opt for colors that complement your skin tone and patterns that enhance your shape. Vertical stripes and dark colors can be slimming, while bright colors and bold patterns can draw attention to your favorite features. I like to go for like a geometric pattern or small to medium floral pattern. I find that works best on me. If I was to wear like really, really large flowers, it's not the most flattering choice, but that's not to say that I'm never going to wear that. Of course, all of these things are just suggestions and tips to help improve how an outfit looks on you, but it doesn't mean that you, you know, can never wear black or you can never wear like something with large flowers. Wear what you want, but you want to feel confident and comfortable in your clothes because that is the most important thing. Doesn't matter what other people think. What matters is that whenever you look in the mirror, you feel confident and you are comfortable and that's all that matters. And the next important thing that we need to consider when we're getting dressed is accessorizing wisely. Accessories are the cherry on top of any outfit. They can elevate your look and draw the eye to your assets. A statement necklace can accentuate your neckline while a belt can define your waist. Remember, less is often more. Choose accessories that add to your outfit without overwhelming it. Accessorize a basic outfit with scarves, jewelry, and belts. Remember, fashion is about expressing yourself and about feeling good in your own skin. Experiment, have fun, and wear what makes you feel fabulous. So if you enjoyed these tips on how to always look good in your clothes, go check out these 10 spring style mistakes that women over 50 often make, and sometimes we make it without even knowing that we're making it. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.